Hi, it's Raquel with Balloon Splendor, a lesson on how to use Publisher to create a watermark. Uh, it's as simple as grabbing a text box and typing in whatever text you want and then manipulating the text, formatting the text. So we're going to highlight that and I can come up to here and I can make it any size. I can change the color very easily. I can reposition it. Oops, let's grab the text. I can reposition it anywhere I want on the picture. I can rotate it however I want to do it. There are text effects if I want to use them here. Play with them, figure out what you like. Oh, the glow, that was kind of cool. There we go. How about that? And you can come in and you can save the watermark as a building block. Like that. Oh, I already have one in there. We'll call it number two. And when you like it, you can go ahead and group the whole thing. Actually, I'm going to shorten this up a little bit because I don't want the... Uh, I want my picture to be the size of the photo. There we go. And the other thing you can do once is once you're done with the watermark is you can select everything, you can group it, and then you can right click and save it as a picture. We're going to go ahead and shave it, save it as a JPEG and we're going to call it watermark arch. and I have it here on my desktop, and there it is, that simple. There you go, Raquel with Balloon Splendor.